Just two days after I released my video showing off the Gear VR tutorial and Universal Menu, I received an update for the latter at 2 a.m. this morning, February 24th, 2016. Let's cross fade in and see what's new. First off, you'll see that the menu has completely changed in appearance and now is displayed vertically as opposed to horizontally with the order of options rearranged. You have the same abilities as before with volume control now included. Before, this was changed only by using the buttons on the side of the headset, which still work here, but now you can use the touchpad as well, which is useful if you want to adjust between a larger range more quickly. However, the volume control outside of this menu is controlled via the range of 0 through 15, whereas it's 0 through 100 in the universal menu. Changing the volume to 7 outside of the universal menu will have it set to 50 inside it, for example. I wonder if this will be updated in the future to match. Other than that, you can return to the Oculus Home menu, activate the pass-through camera, which you can exit by pressing the back button, which takes you back to wherever you were, or by tapping the symbol to turn it off within the menu. You can adjust the brightness of your phone, which doesn't affect the recording, reorient your position, and turn Do Not Disturb off and on. Besides the menu itself, the other major change is the environment you're placed in, which is a definite upgrade compared to the black nothingness of before, and it doesn't cause universal mode to load or run any slower. And that's it. It's an incremental upgrade overall, but it does look better and give you more options. I have more Gear VR videos being released soon, so please consider subscribing and leaving a like and comment. It'd be cool if you held up like bowls of Vaseline and I put my hands in them because I want to stick my hands in that thing's nose. <laughs>